Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, it's version two of the Forge Burner. Let's go guys. Okay, this is version one of the burner, which you can see in that previous video. Now, if you can remember, we had a plumbing connector into a, a brass plug, which then had the MIG tip connected to it. Um, and inside of this burner, it looked like this. So we have the, the MIG tip into the brass uh, connector, into the plumbing, a quarter inch, quarter inch tap into the gas connector. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna upgrade some of these components. So, this is how it's currently made. Um, what we have identified is on Amazon, you can buy Venturi. So if we take this component out, and add a Venturi in, which will uh, give us the ability to control uh, the gas in a far more controlled manner. We've also signed some bulkhead joints, which look like this. Now, this bulkhead joint fits perfectly into the top of that Venturi. So what my thoughts are, if we retain these bottom three components, but remove this out of the equation and remove this top part of the equation, replacement with a Venturi, it should be 10 times safer. So let me show you how this is gonna work. Um, we will still have um, the tap and die uh, for the MIG tip going into the brass connector. This will still connect on here, but then this will connect onto this bolt head, head connector. Now the way we do that is we feed the bolt head connector through the Venturi, so we'll wind this in. Um, and then when it's about, you know, just a few, when it's just a few uh, millimeters through here, we'll then wind it onto uh, this connector here and then onto um, our MIG tip. So let me just show you that working. So let me uh, start dismantling this old one. And we'll pop the MIG tip out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this part out here uh, and retain this part at the bottom. So let's just move some of these pieces out of the way. Pop it into the vise just to quickly remove that. Okay, so I've got this component here. Um, what I'm going to do is I fed the bulkhead joint through a little bit and you'll see it just starts to protrude through the venturi. Can you see that? Um, I'm going to feed this through here onto top of the bulkhead connector and wind this on. Make sure that's firm. And then because the bulkhead connector has got a, a spinny bolt here, I can adjust the height of how far down I want the MIG tip to go. So you can see in the MIG tip in here, it's nice and central. So I'll start with it all the way down, I think because what that will allow me to do is adjust our tuner tin. Um, I've got to make it a little bit smaller just so I can fit across there. So let me just adjust that. That's almost there. I think I'll cut that straight off there. And straight off here. And then we'll bend this around. So there we go. So we've now got the bulkhead connector, uh, the gas protector, which we can adjust. This is nice and tight. We'll connect this onto, uh, onto this, um, this elbow joint and then we'll connect it all back up and give it a try. So that's the second version. I do have a third version, which I'll talk about in a second. Let me just put some um, gas PTFT, PTFE tape around here and let's, let's fire this one up. Okay, as you can see, we've got our burner with our Venturi now connected up to the hoses. And um, because we don't have any of these M5 bolts anymore, and we know it's central, we still need one of these uh, devices here to control the gas, but that works really well. Um, I'm just gonna do the soapy test on this, I'll just do that off, uh, offline. Then I'll turn the gas on and we'll light this baby up and we'll see what it does. Okay, safety first, kids. Right, so now I've uh, reconnected this with some more gas PTFE tape. No bubbles this time, so that's now working. So we'll pop our cover on, like so. so the cover's on, so that'll reduce the uh, air that can be taken in. We're gonna open up the gas, and we're gonna light her up. So 
a little bit of gas. And she lights. No, because it's very bright outside, you probably can't see very well. If we open her up a little bit. Lovely blue flame, I don't know if you can see that. Much more controllable. Gas is now fully open. That is working 10 times better. Lovely control flame. Back part of the burner is working really well. There's no gas leaks. I'll tell you something from here, the heat is astronomical. So, that's version 2. Now there's another enhancement that we can do, and this part of the video is sponsored by Sam Fowler. SamFowler.com and I'm going to take you back to the bench and we're going to show you the next changes that are going to apply to this burner. So, bearing in mind what we've got at the moment is, is that we've enhanced the burner by using a Venturi. Um, we have the MIG tip, uh, the brass symbol which we had to tap and die out, this connector here, then a bulkhead joint, then we had the, uh, the elbow going into the gas joint there. Um, Sam Fowler was kind enough to donate a few pieces to make me safe. Um, which is a lot safer. And these are actually off of Sam Burner's, um, Sam Fowler's burners. Uh, and that's what we're actually going to use in our final um, forge build. But let me show you the changes anyway. Um, what we're doing, we're taking out all of this component here, all of it. And what Sam has found is these components. So Sam uh, imports these. I think they're imported from Australia. And they've got a, the actual uh, gas hole just there at the bottom. Can you see that? So that replaces all of that component there. Uh, we'll keep the elbow joint, but we want to extend this out a little bit because it's a bit too close to the top of the Venturi. Now what Sam has, he has some pipe work, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so we're going to replace this with this. We're going to add these two pieces into the Venturi. Uh, and then we're going to have our gas uh, connector on here. So this will come off, this will come off. The gas connector will be there. Um, that's pretty much um, similar to Sam Fowler's, uh, Sam Fowler's burners. Um, now, Sam Fowler's burners have been tested. Their sizes have been correct. So this nipple pipe is only six inches on my burner here. Um, Sam's are a lot longer. And also his flares are ten times better than these cheap and cheerful plumbing. He also has um, a silver disc which has been created on purpose for his burners, which will sit in here, which allows you to control the flow of the gas. So let me put this together um, off camera and then let's give this one a try. So here we go. This is our uh, rig up now. So we've got the L bend into the extension pipe so that moves uh, the, the gas away from where the flame is. We've got our Venturi, got our burner on, six inch nipple pipe, connected up to the gas. Let's turn it on, let's give it a go. The gas is on. I'll get my burner to start it. I'll open up the gas a little. It's a light. We have a lovely blue flame. So first and foremost, thanks to Sam Fowler for the uh, bits and pieces of the burners. So uh, he gave me a couple of those for helping them out. I really appreciate that, Sam. Um, I want to give a summary now. So we've done sort of three types of burners and the way we're progressing towards is to actually buy Sam Fowler's burners. Um, I'll do a link below. Now, if you're really safety conscious, they're very safe units. I've got them in my small uh, burner over here, my small forge over here and I'm about to start the progress of a big forge build so it's about twice the size of my existing forge and for that I'm absolutely going to use Sam Fowler's burners. The reasons being um, yes you can build a burner, yes you can build them for $50, $60, something like that but you don't get the decent flares, you don't get the, uh, the decent um, 
copper unit which actually sends the gas down the nipple. Sam Fowler's um, burners have been completely tested for the length of that nipple, the diameters, etc, etc, etc. And you can see just by using a couple of his components, a massive difference on the, the actual burners that we're going to be using. So anyway, in conclusion, you can build your own burners. Um, they're a little bit dangerous, a little bit haphazard, and as I've said before, you do so at your own risk, or you can go and buy some. I know for future, I've done this test, I will be buying some. So thanks ever so much, guys. Thank you to my sponsor, Sam Fowler. Really appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Debris Day. Cheers, guys. Bye.